Okay, so this video is going to be about my new hair. Um, if you haven't noticed, I did dye my hair. I bleached it. So this is like what my roots look like right now. Okay, it looks like that everywhere. Literally everywhere. And basically how I did this is kind of what I'm going to be explaining. If you didn't know, my hair, which is where my nipples are, I guess. Um, my hair used to be down to my waist. Okay? So I cut Josh. off like a good... Josh. A lot. Okay? Um, so basically, I bleached my whole head. And then toned it. So this is all the stuff that I used. So I got two boxes of this. Okay. I just kind of go by the model. I don't really go by like this type of thing. But it says D plus extra bleach. And it says lightens hair four to six levels. So um, this is like the good kind of bleach. It's not like the... You know how you can get, like, bleach at, like, Sally's or whatever? This is, like, it's a, it's a better bleach because it's made by, like, a certain brand. Um, so I got two bottles of that, and I used it on my whole head. And then I kept it in for, like, 40 minutes. Um, I didn't want my hair to be, like, beach blonde or whatever. I was kind of going for like an ombre type of look like I wanted it to be like really blonde and then as it gets down it gets like an orangey to like a brown and then I did bleach my ends before I did all this so that's why my ends are more blonde than the middle section which I'm totally fine like whatever um and then I used this toner I hope that is not backwards, but if it is, you know, you can still see. I used T18, and it's by this brand called Color Charm. Wella Permanent Liquid Hair Toner. So basically, I got this at Sally's. This was like $9. And basically, it comes in like a little bottle, okay? And you mix that. You mix the whole bottle with this and I used like there's probably this much left in there so like you have to kind of do the math for it um this was probably like two or three dollars um this is the 20 volume cream developer and it says four fluid ounces this one says for 1.4 but I talked to the girl she said you can read it as 1.5 if you want because it's so close to that so one part this th three parts this so basically I got like a little bowl from Sally's and like one of those like brush things um, which I highly recommend if you color your hair all the time because it really helps you know with um, spreading the product around and you don't use as much product and it just helps with like accuracy and stuff like that so basically this whole thing plus say save this bottle and cut it into four so that would be a part that would be a part that would be a part and then that would be a part so cut this into four you use three sections of this bottle you mix that together, it should be almost like a, a thick, kind of, I guess, like a conditioner almost, or like a shampoo. It's supposed yeah. to be like kind of, um, just like a little chunky, I would recommend. And, um, yeah, and then I kept the toner in for like 20 minutes. Um, I do highly recommend that you be very careful with bleach and toner because it does burn. And I would highly recommend you not to use it or be very, very careful if you have, like, like sores on your head because that's going to hurt like a bitch, okay? So just a warning. And then when it came to cutting my hair, first I cut off, like, 
two or three inches. Like, it wasn't even that bad. It was pretty much just all, like, my split ends. Um, I brushed all my hair back, like, you know what I mean? I brushed all of it back. I looked at my hair, like, in the mirror. And I kind of took my hand, I put it straight, and I just went, like that. Um, and I kind of looked at it, and I was like, I could go a bit shorter, you know? From someone who has always had long hair, and my hair is like my safety blanket, um, basically, I went a little bit more. Um, I'm actually going to go get the little chunk that I did after, because I saved it. Just because it looked really pretty, like the color is pretty and the snip is pretty good considering it that it was behind my back. So I'm just going to go get that. I'll be right back. Okay, so pretty much I cut off, I'm going to say two to two and a half of these. So my camera is probably not showing like the best yeah. size thing. But I'm going to take my hand and kind of measure it. So this is probably like my whole palm, which my hands are small. But if I took like two of those, it's a decent sized chunk. And I just wanted to keep it because my hair is like what makes me me, kind of. And I don't know why I get so emotional. Like it's just hair, right? Like it's going to grow back and everything. But I, I've had my hair so long for such a, sh like, a long amount of time that when it came to cutting it, I was... Are you okay? Anyway, I was so scared. And now that it's, like, you know... And so after I cut it, like, straight across, I went in with my, uh, with, like, my hair cutting scissors... And I went in with my hair cutting scissors and I kind of went uh, the needle point type of technique um, because I didn't want it all blunt and stuff. And I like layers and I like choppy layers. So I kind of did that a little bit. But I'm really in love with my new hair. That is really annoying, kiddo. She's like, yeah, so. But um, I just need to straighten it and see what it looks like straightened and curled um but yeah that's kind of how I did it again this is my roots I hope it's showing close in color but um I think this is the video I think that's it so yeah I'm not sure what else to say but I guess I'll see you in my next video.